Hey, what's going on? This one is about, uh, I guess you should call this one, are they real or are they uh, entertainers, would-be entertainers? And <clears throat> this one, I, I noticed there are a lot of people on YouTube who draw a lot of attention and add cents dollars by trying to play uh, pro-black. And uh, people like me find that disturbing. And I know some people say they find my smacking disturbing. But anyways, it is what it is. But um, you have to understand you play with people's lives and you play with the image of black people when you act like you're uh, some black power uh, advocate or a black power freedom fighter. Uh, you know, I noticed a lot of people come with mean faces, mean uh, sounding voices like they're out there getting busy on the white man or something. The only thing they're getting busy on is YouTube. And uh, I've been listening to these people, some over the course of years, others over the course of this year and last year. Uh, some I thought were real and then you keep listening. So that's why I don't really pass judgment until I listen for a while so I can find out what their angle is once I see what the angle is I mean you could do that with me too I mean I don't care so I don't have anything to hide I know some people say well you, you hide you're hiding your face but you know I'm not trying to be a superstar that's the difference so there are a few people I've been checking out over the past few years that one I was down with but then I was like, hold up, man. The more I keep listening, the more I'm like, man, this, this person is not about keeping it real. They're not, they're not real with this. They're into something else. Then there's another one who I know is not real. But tonight I'm going to talk about one who I was looking at, listening to. And I kept noticing a lot of trends. I'm talking about the China Fox. Uh, the trends I've been noticing were her. First, I thought she was half white like a lot of people did. <laughs> she says that both her parents are black. And, of course, those clearly white elements in her, those are white elements. Those are not um, black elements. And for those dummies that keep saying, we come in all colors. Let's stop the madness. So I was looking at her, you know, sometimes she looks cute, sometimes she doesn't. Sometimes the breasts look good, sometimes they don't. But, you know, she's another one of these people. They come with the fake anger, fake emotion, and the fake uh, emotion of acting like they're really out here trying to get busy. And they carry themselves, and they even tell you that they're fighting for black freedom freedom. Uh, black justice but the truth is they're not doing anything but the more you listen to them and the way they host their show or whatever YouTube channel videos the things that they say how they say them and what they keep saying they kind of give away what they're all about uh, and one thing I noticed about this woman is that she's definitely hungry for uh, more uh, subscribers, more uh, views, which equates to more AdSense money. Because she tries to tangle with Tommy Sotomayor, Sarnetta, and someone else to hop on their bandwagon. That's what I noticed about a lot of these individuals. You know, you listen to them, you, you know, you get... Uh, hooked in for a little while and then you're like okay man these people are serious man but then you're like see a lot of black people they like people who say things that either is on their mind or something that they would never want to say but see these people here's the thing here's, here's what I noticed I noticed that she keeps singing people sing who can sing they sing because they usually want to get noticed and when you sing on YouTube, 
you want to get noticed. When you show your face on YouTube, you want to get noticed. So to me, that tells me she's a would-be entertainer, like a Tariq Nasheed and, and a few, a whole lot of people on YouTube. Uh, I saw one video of her arriving here in New York, and she was uh, riding and said she was going to some gay cross-dresser event. Another red flag. I mean, how are you going to be fighting for freedom and one of your best friends is, is, is presumably a black and has to be guaranteed homo? I mean, we don't, that's not the image we have. That's the image of somebody else. So that raised another red flag. The way she hosts her show with an opening and closing, you know, I get suspicious of those kind of people because that's show, showmanship. That's not being real also she always says and this is the dead giveaway with a lot of these people make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe see those people want the subscribers they want the likes you've never heard me say hit the like button make sure you sus subscribe because if you do you that's what you want if you don't you don't want it but see, what they want is they just want you to subscribe because you know how it is. Most of the time, you're not even going to watch everybody's video anyways that you subscribe to. But people want that $100,000, 100,000 subscribers so they can get that little plaque and ensure a certain amount of uh, viewers. Obviously, I'm not getting paid for my video, so it doesn't matter if you subscribe or not. Instead of subscribing, what you need to do is donate. But see, I don't even beat you over the head with that either. I mean, because obviously people who want to do that will do it. And those who don't, they won't. You know, me, I, I, I've never been one to fall for those who say, hey, I'm going to do it. Because, you know, words are what they are. If people are going to do something, they're going to do it. Talk is cheap, as they say. So China Fox, along with others, you know, see, the thing is, they talk about the issues of today. And for some reason, they chose black issues. I'm guessing with a lot of these black people on YouTube, they choose black issues because maybe they fear that they cannot uh, attract any crowd that's not black. That's what I'm starting to think. So they use the black, the suffering of black people, black issues as a way for them to get their little fame and uh, try and take it to a, a level where they can get paid. And speaking of that, that's another thing that she said in one of her videos. She said, I should have my own show. Translation, I want to get paid. I want to be Oprah. That's what that's all about. See, so. I don't mind people entertaining for entertainment's sake. Do that. But don't use black people and the real issues that black people go through for your entertainment. Same thing with those damn celebrities. They get told what to say and what to do by their masters. You're getting paid your motherfucking entertainer. Entertain. We don't want to hear nothing about no pseudo Black Panthers and all this other BS. So that's what these people, this China Fox. So, you know, when I see her, when I did see her, I saw her. I never saw her as somebody who was real. Number one, I didn't even see her as black first. <laughs> so, you know, to me, she wasn't even real. You can just look into people's eyes and their faces. You can see the fake mean faces that they make. You know, it, it's all theatrical, man. I mean, it's a damn shame. And they keep coming with tons and tons of videos. And they make sure that their faces are seen. They keep coming with different hairdos. They keep coming and showing the breasts. Because obviously that's one of her hooks. The breast, And uh, I guess looking white is another hook. Uh, <laughs> and it's all for what? She wants a job in entertainment. I mean, why else would she come to New York? Why, why would she come from Chicago to New York 
to uh, go to some gay uh, drag queen show. Well, she, I'm sure she could find that in Chicago, or she could have gone to Atlanta for that. I mean, she's looking for some type of fame, apparently. I mean, Chicago does uh, host TV shows, so maybe she can, you know, get it out there. But that's what a lot of these people on YouTube do, especially the black people. They coon out, uh, just hoping to get that TV spot. You see, you can tell by the things I say, I'm not looking for no TV spot or no radio show. Not to say I probably wouldn't take one, you know, if the right offer came. Because a lot of these people I'm hearing on the radio, even on the sports shows, man. I'm like, how do they get their job when they don't know one player from the Knicks? They don't know one team from the Knicks. But, um, yeah, man, they're there. I mean, the more I look and scour YouTube... Some people have been on since it began. I'm really starting to realize that 99%, if not 100% of these people are fake. I mean, the well, no, I'll take that back. I'll say 99%. The ones who are real, sad to say, they're not charismatic enough or even smart enough to uh, get their messages across because they like screaming and yelling cursing every other word calling people crackers devils and all that kind of stuff see that's those are attention getters as far as uh what they say and how they do it yeah it gets attention but do you get the responses that you're looking for and what responses are you looking for if you come on the scene screaming and yelling calling people crackers you know i don't know if uh, seti's channel got taken down or not but haven't been seeing any new videos, but I always beware of people who are mean and are trying to provoke things. You know, I always beware of those kind of people. You got the kind who act like they're a true black warrior, whatever that means. And then you got the kind who smile and want to be comedians and type that type of thing. Beware, because they're not real. I mean... If you want to be real, this is what you need to do. Go to school, get an education in economics, get one in business administration, business, business management, engineering, that kind of thing. Stay away from black studies, English, and dare I say it, political science. Definitely stay away from that shit. Uh, <laughs> All those nonsensical uh, degrees that is a waste of your damn money and a waste of your damn time. Because you have to take things that build nations. That's what Asians do. I keep telling you this. Asians take go to school to build nations. They don't go there for political aim. They don't go there because, oh, man, I like art. Rich people take a, uh, get a degree in art, appreciation or art, whatever the hell it might be called. Because they're going to be a curator. They have money. They have an interest in this type of thing. But the average person wouldn't get a degree in that because it's not going to do anything for them career wise. Uh, so that's what you need to do in order to move black people along. And of course, stay away from white women and those who don't agree. Then you need to stay away from black people. And just stick to whoever white woman that you're dealing with because you're clearly not a part of our world, but you want to keep messing with us. But that's the best way you progress and pay back the white man, so to speak. Because um, let me tell you something, man. These white people, doesn't matter about your education level, unless you sound white or wearing a suit. I could tell you this, they all think that we're as dumb, we're born retarded. That's what they all think. I mean, white people are something else, man, with the stereotypes. And they like to BS us, give us that small bullshit talk. And they do that out of fear. You know? Because they don't really know us like that. They don't live next to us. I keep telling you. Despite the bull that you see on TV... 
where they try to make it look like whites and blacks are just so happy and together. Are you seeing any money? That's what you got to ask yourself. When you see the money, then it's real. If you see yourself not having having to be confined to the ghetto or near the ghetto or near an all black area or mostly black area, then you're seeing progress. But as long as you go to work with somebody white, they go to a rich town, you go to a black town. We're not together. Show me the money. Don't show me some some BS on TV. People having sex and having babies, that's having sex and having babies. That's not progress and we're not together. Most white people don't know any black people. Most white people live in a totally separate hood from any black people. That's why when they see you around, the first thing that comes into their mind is you don't live around here. You don't know suburban protocol. You're stupid. And uh, we're rich and we know that you're not. Doesn't matter if all of the opposite is the case. This is how they think because they don't know you. And they don't care to know you and they don't have to know you. <laughs> but when they see you, this is what they think. But on the opposite end of the spectrum, you have the black Asians, the East Indians. I was in a lily white town. What town was this? Oh, what am I talking about? Mount Kisco, New York. Some Indians had a uh, gas station out in the middle of nowhere. And the uh, lady's like three, four times darker than me. Thought she was a regular black woman at first until I heard the accent. She still could have been for all I know, but I doubt it. But see, they can be out there at these gas stations. Indians, Asians, they live near white people. They live in the big homes with the white people. So-called Arabs live there too. I'm not talking about the kind who got homes and, you know, living in the U.S. for a little while. But those kind too. But once that oil runs out, so-called Arabs are going to uh, <laughs> come to a new realization that uh, they uh, did like Negroes and they spent their money on nothing. Uh, so again, the so-called Arabs are classified as white by the white man. Indians, Asians, they don't live near you. They service you. That's it. But they, when they go home, they go home and live next to the white man. You walk down the street. You are broke. They are rich. Yeah, the white man helps them get this way. But the point is. That's the reality. And of course, I know there's going to be some black person saying the usual nigga shit. That's not all. I never do say all. That's why you never hear me say the word all. I will say most. And then you have some other Negroes who might say, give me the numbers. Give me the stats. Uh, give me the, the, uh, the study. Your eyes are the study and the stats. I mean, come on. But a lot of black people do that, you know, trying to sound like intellectuals. Never step one foot in college. Except to deliver a pizza, maybe. But they all want to be uh, master scholars, master teachers and shit. So it's China Fox. That's the main uh, point of tonight. You know, she seems like a nice person, but she also seems very slick and sneaky. With uh, some hidden agendas. And that um, gay, transgender... Whatever the hell it was. I mean, <laughs> you know, I don't know nothing about that. Uh, I mean, unless somebody paid for her ticket and her expenses, you know, she's spending money to go to that. But where is she going to uh, some black uh, pride event? I mean, come on. You want to go down? You want to come to New York? Why don't you go down to D.C. and go to a straight black pride event? <laughs> even though 
I have my issues, uh, suspicions about what they're all about too. But at the very least, at least it's being put out there. But um, she's gonna take this as a personal put down. This is not a personal put down. You know what you're all about, and you know what it is that you're seeking. I say this. If you have gay friends and uh, that's the world you want to be in, why don't you talk about them in their world or them in your world for all I know. Uh, and uh, why don't you attract that crowd? Matter of fact, since you can sing and you're female, you might have a better uh, opportunity to get famous uh, by coming up in the gay world. Truth be told. Because, you know, they like uh, females. They like female singers. So why don't you uh, do that instead of uh, wasting black people's time? I mean, black people like being entertained, but too many times over the past hundred years or so, black people have always been sold uh, a bill of goods uh, with some charlatans, Uncle Tom's. Then when you look, at, look, look back and you do the research... Then you'll find out that these Uncle Toms are Uncle Toms for a reason. They're Uncle Toms because they are literally working for the white man. They're Freemasons. I know a lot of blacks will say, man, Freemasons ain't about that. We're about brotherhood and all that bullshit. I know people got to defend what they got to defend, but you're defending the white man. If the white man is running the show and he makes all the Freemason favors possible, the white man is your master. So, you know, if they're not working for Freemasonry, they're working for other connected Freemason uh, outfits like the NAACP, Urban League, Nation of Islam, Southern, La uh, Southern Poverty Law Center, Black Lives Matter, the news, you know, any of these things. Planted social media, fake activists, and... Uh, BS artists. You know, it's a joke to black people, but these Negroes, are they're the ones responsible for keeping black people down and more importantly, giving us a bad name. Think about all this stuff. Every time you see black people, loud mouth black people on TV, because that's why they put them on there and they tell them to do these things and say these things. They get on TV, they complain. They're screaming and yelling all the time. Stop doing that. You don't know anything about our lives and blah, blah, blah. And these are college educated people who have good jobs and their part of their job is cooning. Everybody that you see on TV. All of them. So, and it makes the run of the mill black people look bad. This is how the stereotypes form. Because white people, like I said, most white people don't live anywhere near black people. And it was meant to be that way. The blackest people they're going to live around are going to be the East Indians. Asians are quiet. They keep to themselves. East Indians, you know, they, they, they're a little more lively as far uh, as, far as uh, not keeping a low profile. But their culture, which is not really known by a lot of people, they're able to kind of fall under the radar. And white people don't mind supporting them and helping them make a living. But when it comes to you, the black American, all of a sudden it's a problem. I don't know where they get the programming besides TV and the media to say, hey, we have to keep black Americans back. Matter of fact, that was a video I did a few weeks ago. I ain't put that one up yet. About the white man intentionally holding us back. And, uh, you know, that has to do with the fact that you can see all other nationalities come to this country and they can prosper. It's not about, uh, people say it's not about skin color. I used to say you bull you're bullshitting, but the more I thought about it, okay, they're telling a true statement, but then they're, they're telling half of the facts. It isn't about skin color, but it's about heritage. And there's something about the heritage of black America that has the white man and, and the Jews fighting to death. At all costs, they must keep us down. 
You got to explore that. You know, because like I always say, most of the Negroes or Negro type people who keep doing the talking on our behalf are not us. That's important. Because why do they keep speaking on our behalf? Now, I'll probably save this for another video about the Cardi B and all this black Afro Latina bullshit. Like this is new. Like when Obama came out, they acted like mulattoes were new. Then everybody was a mulatto expert and they, they thought every mulatto looked like Obama. Now every Afro Latina is supposed to be Cardi B, but you know, these people are implanted into the society. It's all a scheme, it's all a plan, and all the criticism is all a scheme and a plan. I mean, you could pay people next to nothing to hype shit up. And I said this was going to be done when this Latin fever stuff happened. I, I told you. And you saw it like maybe about 10 years ago. You should have seen this because they started having newscasters who were white looking, but with Spanish last names. And they didn't really call them Latinos too much. And then they, you start seeing more and more white style, not necessarily all the way white, but white style Latinos. And, uh, then they start now they're putting the black ones in a black category. That's the only thing they can do as the population gets bigger is segregate them. But the bulk of them are mixed, even if they look more black or look more white or Mexican style, as I like to say. They're all mixed. So, you know, that's going to destroy a lot of them and, and make them feel a certain way. And some might feel that they have to uh, roll with us, but don't accept them. And I can tell you this. Like the Dominicans, I, I had the videos up with that by people getting fooled by these Dominicans. That's why you got to watch out for coon agents. When they start hyping stuff and promoting stuff that doesn't make any sense, like Dominicans all of a sudden uh, trying to claim to be black now. When Dominicans more so than Puerto Ricans... I mean, they're the, out of all Spanish speaking peoples, the Dominicans hate the blacks the most and they're the, amongst the blackest or most consistently black. And they'll tell you, hey, man, we're black, Spanish, Native American. Just like the Arab world, most people who claim to be Arabs have nothing to do with Arabs. In, in the Spanish speaking world, most people who claim to be of Spanish heritage, they're not of Spanish heritage. If that's the case, God damn it. I mean, Spain, I didn't even check out how many people they have. But damn it, you look at how many people they have. I think they had about 100,000 or something like 100 million or it could have been 30 million. I don't know. But you just look at the population. Then think about the colonies. And ask yourself, how is that possible? Just the same way when you look at slavery. But I'm going to get into that in another thing. This is about the China Fox. Are they real or are they agents? She could be an agent. But one thing for sure. She's certainly an entertainer. And she's looking for fame and fortune. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with looking for fame and fortune. As long as you promote yourself as looking for fame and fortune. Don't pretend to be a black activist and care about black people when that's not your main concern. When your main concern is making sure your singing voice gets out there and you get a talk show. So China Fox, stop fronting. 